Welcome to another episode of Fabi Garage. So, after this uh, exciting weekend, 4th of July weekend, we got to drive this thing. Uh, the whole family loved it. I, I was lucky enough to uh, marry into a family that most of the guys are car guys, so everyone was um, pretty happy to see it finally somewhat done. Um, obviously, I can't drive this thing for too long because I don't have a cooling system, it's just the engine. So I wish I could have driven it longer, but that just gave me a taste of what this thing is gonna sound like and kind of feel like, so I'm excited. So for today's uh, episode, we're gonna put this uh, up on the lift again, and we're gonna drop the rear section of the exhaust, and we're gonna fully weld it because, as I mentioned on the 4th of July video, um, the exhaust is just tack welded together. It was just enough for me to uh, drive it down and back. So let's take it down, fully weld it. I already have exhaust tips coming uh, in the mail, possibly tomorrow. We'll weld those on and then the exhaust will be done. We can start working on the cooling system. Uh, we can start working on wiring. Obviously I already, I only had temporary wire so I can run the car from here to up front. So I'm gonna make it nice. I bought a uh, aftermarket fuse box that I'm gonna use under the hood here somewhere. And it has six slots for six fuses. It comes with a bunch of fuses, a bunch of labels. And I'm basically gonna run switched ignition to this box. And then I'll have it on here, uh, like the fuel pump, uh, ignition coil for the distributor, and a couple of little things that I want it on just with the keys on. So I figured I add this to the... The only problem, there's a lot of fuses that are on the car already that I that are turned on by ignition but the only problem is when you go, when you turn your key on to ignition everything comes on but when you actually crank the car pretty much every manufacturer does this when you crank in the car it disables like your power windows your wipers if you if you on a rainy day if you go to start your car and your wipers are going when you turn the key on when you start cranking it, your wipers will stop for a couple seconds until the car is running and then it'll resume. And they do that so basically all the power from all the all the accessories in the car goes directly to start the car. And once the car is running, it gives power back. So I want to have a fuse box out here that has power all the time as long as the key is on. I don't want it to be interrupted um, when I go to start it. So that's why I bought one of those fuse boxes. So... Let's get this car set up on the lift and let's pull the exhaust down and let's get welding. Okay, so I dropped the whole exhaust. Well, just the rear section. That's why I put the V-bends here. I fully welded the whole exhaust. As you can see, and I even added the tips. I went with burnt tips because I like how they look. So. Look for the side there, bluish, whatever, but the front of it, you can still see the chrome. So it looks good from from the side and from the back. So that's how it looks. I went with uh, three and a half inch uh, exhaust tips. And you see the cutout. I already had the cutouts there from when I had my dual exhaust. So I just basically made them. So it looks pretty good. And from the right angle, I did have a little lip here. As you see the bolts, I'm gonna put that back on. I just took it off just so I can uh, mock up the exhaust, but yeah, it's looking uh, pretty decent. So it's completely done. I haven't started it up yet to see how it's gonna sound. Just keep in mind when I uh, ran this thing a couple days ago, it was uh, pretty loud, but that's because half of, you know, the back half of the exhaust was pretty much all exhaust leaks because the exhaust was only tech welded together. So it should be a little quieter, I would think. So now we're gonna lower the car and probably start working on the radiator. I'm, I have to make some kind of a drop down mount for the radiator. I gotta figure out where the radiator is gonna sit. I might have to trim that piece there. 
Um, let me lower the car and we'll come up with a plan. I also have to fabricate an extension. I can, uh, Monster Miata does sell it. Um, I forgot how much they are. If they're not much, I might just buy them. But if I don't have enough metal here, but if I have enough metal to make them, I'm just gonna make them. So I'm basically just gonna fabricate something to drop this down to here. Basically where it is, maybe a little higher, probably right about here. And then bolt it down, that'll be done. Then really I gotta work on uh, finding an alternator, an alternator bracket. I already have the alternator uh, connector here that I might have to extend if I have the alternator on this side, but let me lower the car and uh, I'll show you from the top what we're gonna do. All right, so I have the car lowered. So um, I figured before I explain to you what I'm gonna do here, I think we're gonna do a startup and uh, I'm gonna mount the camera in the back there and let's see how this thing sounds with the exhaust completed. Um, figure give you guys a little exhaust sound up close uh, with the exhaust fully done. So let me mount the camera and let's see how this thing sounds. So you guys just heard the exhaust. Um, it sounds a lot better in person than on the phone. I just kind of watched the video over after I did it and it sounds good, but in person it just sounds way better. Now keep in mind, the distributor is set just by hand. I do not have ignition timing set yet. And I also do not have, I don't have anything on the carburetor adjusted. Basically the way I got the carburetor brand new, I just dropped it in and it fires right up. Um, so I am gonna hook up a air fuel ratio gauge to the exhaust and I'm gonna tune it you know, with an AFR gauge. But as of now, this was basically, it runs, I can drive it up front to the party and back. I have not touched anything. So now that, you know, now that we already drove it and now we're ready to start working on the engine and the radiator and the cooling system, I am gonna um, set the timing on the engine. I am gonna fine tune the carburetor make it run a lot better. So obviously, as you guys just heard, uh, I took a little while cranking. It's because I'm not used to the whole carburetor thing and I didn't realize I had to pump it a couple times to choke it. Um, when I started it up for the party, I was doing the opposite. I was pumping it, but it was too hot and I did not need to be choked. So as you guys hear, as soon as I hit the, the pump a couple of times, uh, it fires right up. Um, so. You know, it's a learning curve. I did not grow up with carburetors. This is basically my first carburetor build. So I'm gonna learn as I go, but as of now, it does fire right up without any adjustments at all. So no idea what jet is in there. This is basically how I got it. I just put it in. Um, my uh, father-in-law is, is pretty good. He has a 67 Barracuda. He's pretty good with the carburetor. So. When it comes time to set in the carburetor, I am gonna probably have him help me um, set it all up. So I did lose, well, I wouldn't say I lost it. When I bought this motor, it did not come with this. I don't believe, because I don't remember seeing it. There is a hold down for these that I uh, 
don't think I ever got. So I'm probably gonna look online and see if I can buy a replacement one. If not, then I'm just gonna have to make one. Right now I have a bolt and a washer holding it so it won't move, but um, once I set my ignition timing and my uh, time in advance, then I should be able to lock it down and that should be able to stay there. So, um, gotta fabricate some kind of bracket for the radiator. Um, get brackets, like I said, for the alternator. Probably gonna try and run a Ford alternator, uh, the 3G alternator, they call it. I was attempted to buy a Miata alternator and have it be so I have plug in, you know, plug it into the OEM harness um, and then take the Miata alternator pulley off and somehow fabricate something to make the Ford pulley work on the Miata alternator. That way I can just fabricate a bracket, put the alternator in line with the belt and I have the Ford pulley to run the belt and I have the Miata alternator hooked up to the factory system. But um, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. So I might just end up getting the Ford mount, the Ford alternator and then making the wiring work. I mean, it's only two wires anyway. So if, if anything, I can probably buy the pigtail for the Ford alternator and then cut this plug off, put the Ford plug in there and then have that plug into the alternator. So I have not ordered the alternator yet, but I think I'm gonna put that on order and start working on the cooling system. Because once I have the uh, radiator in there and mounted and secure, then I can figure out how big of fans I can fit and where I'm gonna get my hoses, how big the hoses, what angle hoses, uh, that I'm, I'm gonna have to figure it all out. But for the meantime, this thing is a running and driving project. I am gonna, like I said, mount the fuse box, the aftermarket fuse box I got somewhere. So I don't have to be using this to start the car. So I do plan on buying a, a, a panel with toggle switches to mount it in the car for the fuel pump and stuff, but, and that'll connect right to the fuse box. So at this, at this time, the build is just gonna keep going, but it's probably not gonna progress as fast because the main things like motor transmission, cross member, rear end, uh, it's pretty much done, so. Now it's just a matter of figuring it out, the little things. Um, they do sell a converter that you can make the tachometer work. Um, most of Miata sells them. I think you can buy them online too if you just get the part number, but we'll get there when we get there right now. I just wanna get the cooling system done and the charging system done. I do have the wiring diagram on those two. So it should be pretty easy to figure it out. I believe I have the wiring diagram somewhere here. somewhere I printed it out I don't know what to do with it but anyway I did put the I don't know if you guys saw I did put the stock uh, Miata steering wheel back on I am gonna either buy a replacement uh, cover for it or I'm just gonna go on uh, online probably eBay or local and just buy a, a steering wheel that's in better shape and then reuse the airbag and then inside the car one then is gonna be uh, just a cheapy Bluetooth radio, and the other one is gonna be probably toggle switches and stuff. So, but the center console, everything's all back together. <coughs> so yeah, guys, this is uh, the update for this week. It was a very short week because of the holiday, so I did not have a ton of time to uh, work on it during the week. But I did get the exhaust completely done. I'll show you from the top the view from the top so the tips are like they change colors pretty much blue I just got cheapy exhaust tips on uh, Amazon you power so nothing fancy because this is not an expensive build but this will this will do good so basically what I did to save a little money if I was to buy two exhaust tips already made well i wouldn't say already made but if i was to buy two exhaust tips separate it would have been more money so i basically bought uh an exhaust tip that's a dual that's made for one pipe to turn into two i just cut it and then made it into two tips so 
that way this was half the money and I got my two tips either way. So just a little way to save money, I guess. So yeah, this is it for this week, guys. And uh, hopefully next week we're gonna have, we're gonna be uh, far along into the cooling system. Hopefully the radio will be mounted and we can start figuring out where we're gonna put the hoses and how big the hoses will angle and all that. But we're getting, uh, we're getting close and close closer and closer I should say to uh getting this thing on the road so I appreciate you guys watching and don't forget to subscribe share with your friends if you know anybody that might uh, get a kick out of the project just uh, share with them the link so they can subscribe to the channel we really appreciate it and uh, we'll see you guys on the next uh, week's episode thanks guys